Hey everybody, this is Minion Soldier and this is the Piracy Show. Now you may be wondering why I'm showing you a close-up of the Grey Cat multi-tool. Um, one of the biggest problems is when you kind of come up with ideas or solutions or things that could fix the game currently, you have to remember that it has to be a universal application. Now the Grey Cat multi-tool has two attachments that we have access to right now. The cutter and the mining attachment but there is supposed to be a third attachment and that third attachment is supposed to be a tractor beam a tractor beam attachment now lately thanks to the rock we know that cig can make tractor beams in game of course this is a different kind of tractor beam it's basically like a vacuum cleaner it vacuums up the ore that the rock produces when it destroys an ore bearing rock and it kind of pulls it up into the cargo hole now one of the biggest problems with piracy right now is the collection of goods that are dropped by a ship when it, it explodes but this doesn't just affect piracy this affects salvagers as well people who have to go to various wrecks or various derelicts out in space they do missions there and they notice that there's a whole bunch of little cargo floating around in space but they don't want to go around and collect every single little box the reward i mean the money is there and it personally for me it's it's always kind of irksome i'll use that word to leave money on the table like that and i'm sure that there are multiple players out there in the pu who feel the same way when we talk about tractor beams it's always important to acknowledge that there are ships that have built-in tractor beams ships like the caterpillar ships like the reclaimer and the cutlass um, all have built-in tractor beams but we've never gotten access to them now if we were to fix the tractor beams for one ship or another ship or all ships that would probably entail a lot of work individually fixing them for all the ships figuring out how they're all going to work because you don't I don't think CIG really wants to go to a place where the tractor beam is just a vacuum cleaner on all the ships and it just magically appears in the cargo hold but what CIG probably should look at is getting in a universal option through the gray cat multi-tool and allowing us to kind of ex you know experiment with a very basic version of tractor beams and then use that to inform the designs of the larger ships tractor beams and this is something that i feel that we can get into the game fairly easily and get it into the hands of a wide variety of players not just pirates though pirates of course there's a very obvious benefit but what i think that we can do is we can kind of take that gray cat multi-tool and let's say that you are in a space station and there's a whole bunch of crates lying around it's zero g the station's been destroyed but there's all this cargo floating around so we now have all this cargo that we have access to we can say that the gray cat multi-tool can only grab up to one scu of cargo so for a large crate like this it will latch on to and allow you to manipulate the position of that crate and we can do that by means of say just using the right click to kind of lock onto it and then we can use the mouse wheel scrolling it backwards and forwards to bring it in closer to us or to move it away from us up to a certain range obviously and then we can place it by orientating our body in you know the three-dimensional zero g environment now this also requires that we're going to have to have the ability with ships to turn off the internal artificial gravity now, this is something that is in lore that is this is something that is supposed to exist though right now as far as i know there is no hard switch in most ships though i think you possibly can go into the systems and maybe turn it off there but i don't even think that that's an option but if you can turn it off then you can then place this cargo very efficiently within your ship because one of the biggest problems you just saw it is when you go from a non-gravity to a gravity environment inside of a ship you usually end up just kind of fumbling and bouncing all over the floor now one of the 
you know, one of the additional things that we can do with this is because it can only pick up one SCU, which is the large crates, the large format crates, we can say that if there are smaller crates around, you can fire that beam at one crate and then any other crates up to one SCU that are nearby will be attracted to that crate that you're holding on to. So that way you can actually pull in a lot of the smaller crates, bring them into your ship, place them down, and they'll just kind of, you know, fall down on the floor together. You can neaten them up or you can just leave them that way if you want. And this allows you to more efficiently clean up a whole bunch of cargo that could be lying around a spaceship. This opens up for a lot of people, not just pirates, a lot more gameplay options. Perhaps all this scrap metal floating around inside of a space station can be collected and stored in your ship as well. There's tons of options. I mean, one of the biggest problems is that sometimes game developers don't like to kind of just let players have the reins. With Star Citizen, I feel that CIG is coming from a different place. They're not kind of coming from a blizzard place. They're more kind of thinking we're just going to set the stage and we're going to let you guys design the show and i think that bringing an option in like this and then just seeing what players do with it not just from you know kind of like a foundational technology point of view like is it broken is it not broken but coming from a place of looking how players use this feature and then adapting it to either better support players or maybe limit certain negative behaviors that are possible with a tractor beam. I think that that's a really good idea to bring something like, like this into the game. Of course, you know, I want to see the tractor beams on my reclaimer, or my caterpillar or my cutlass work. But for the health of the game, and for the health of developing more emergent gameplay and letting players go out there and experiment with these things and making derelict missions, whether it's a space station or a crashed ship or just a blown up ship floating in space, I think that this is a much cooler option. Now in a gravity environment, obviously there are going to be some issues with something like this. A crashed ship on the surface of a planet but we've seen in the past that CIG has these little hover carts, you know, that, that you can store cargo on that they've shown us in art before. But if we could get access to something like that and then just say that within a within a certain tolerance of a 1G environment, you can pick up individual crates and then you can kind of put it on that kind of carry cart or that anti-gravity cart, whatever you want to call it and stack them up there and then move that into your ship and then store it all in within your ship from there. I think that that would be a cool idea. I really hope that, you know, for, for the sake of collecting cargo, whether it be from a derelict or a victim ship, I think that the gray cat multi-tool really opens up what I think is tractor beams but with the broadest kind of impact for the entire and benefit for the entire community not just for pirates but for everyone i think that we this is something that we need sooner rather than later because there's so much stuff waiting for this to be implemented so many options that we can explore and so much more rewarding gameplay that we can derive out of something so simple that really any player in the game right now unless they are flat broke can afford so for tractor beams for closing the loop not just for pirates but for everyone i think that the gray cat multi-tool tractor beam is something that should be implemented as quickly as possible but anyways that's just my opinion you're welcome to disagree or agree with me in the comments below, and uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. So, 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 so if you want to keep up with the latest and greatest in Star Citizen and Squadron 42's development, please follow, please follow, please follow us on our social media channels. See you soon.